tonight's video is just a little bit different. We just wanted to give you an update. For those of you that have followed the channel for some time, you're probably aware we had a static caravan slash lodge in Swaledale in North Yorkshire. And we've decided to sell up and move on from that because we're getting so much use out of the camper van. It's a lot of money to be spending when you're not getting as much use out of it. So we thought we'd give you a little bit of a look round just before we say goodbye to it and just give you a couple of uh, bits of information just in case you ever considered wanting a static caravan or a lodge in the future. Leisure bit is the way to go with David, Rachel and Roxy. Let's hit the road and explore. So it's a little bit of a sad day for us today, a bit of an end of an era. After eight years of owning this beautiful lodge at Swellview in Richmond, it's time to hand the keys back in and say goodbye. It's been lovely, we've had some beautiful times here. But I suppose life changes and things moves on, so it's time to wave goodbye. Yes, and it's been a great eight years, and it served us really well. As you probably know if you followed us from the start, we had a motorhome before this, and then we changed to the lodge for something a little bit more static. And uh, as you'll obviously know as well, we got the camper van in 2022, just at the start of it there, I ordered it in 2020. But we've been really using that a yeah. lot and we've not been getting the use out of here. And obviously there's monthly fees to pay for ground rent and things like that. And gas and electricity. And gas and electricity, yes and also maintenance of course and we decided now was the time to move on and then we're going to use the money we get for this to put towards a new camper van or motorhome in the future but now was the right time to say goodbye over the years we had some interesting things happen the cows wandered across from the other side of the river at one point and also we had the floods which brought the river right up near the bank we had an amazing pitch with fantastic views up and down the river Swale, right next to it. We also had a hot tub you probably spotted there. It was really nice to sit out here and just watch the world go by and watch the river come past. Let's have a look around inside. So here we have the living room. Uh, it comes with furniture that you can move around. Uh, we've got the a couple of... Uh, high back chairs there, nice mirror, there's a fire with a realistic smoke effect. There's little units that come with it and there's a table and four chairs. Uh, there's also a cooker and grill and a microwave that has a built-in cooker as well, a sink, a five burner hob, plenty of space for things. It comes with a, a dishwasher And a washing machine, a fridge freezer, a bit of a look around there. Some handy cupboards, extractor fan. And there's the uh, bathroom that has a bath and a shower and a sink here, towel radiator, the hallway, go into the master bedroom, you go. TV on the wall there, storage cupboards above. And there's a wardrobe here. It's quite handy, a couple of bits I need to move from there. And there's an ensuite and shower.
And then there's the second bedroom, which has two single beds in it and a handy little desk, a wardrobe and a TV. There's a handy shoe cupboard here, handy to keep your shoes in. And then there's the boiler room. That concludes the tour. Roxy said she was really going to miss the river, so she went for a last swim before coming away. As you may know if you've watched some of our previous videos, uh, when I ordered the camper van, one of Rachel's key concerns was that we wouldn't get use out of uh, either the camper van or the lodge and it's a lot of money to pay out if you're not using it so what we've decided to do um, so we were still getting some use out of it but we were really enjoying going away in the camper van I, I do think that's testament to the camper van in the fact that we loved the lodge it was a really good base yeah. but we actually in balance are uh, enjoying going out and about in the camper van more Absolutely. And I, and I think it's opened up a different range of campsites and things to what the motorhome did. You know, it's a metre and a half shorter, it's significantly narrower, so you can get places that you couldn't get in that. And that's been fantastic because it removes a lot of the hassle you had with it with a bigger one. And I know some people get away absolutely fine with the big ones and manage to take them all over the place. <laughs> but... Uh, but in 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 kind of my case, I'd, you tended to stick to more your kind of traditional campsites like your caravan and motorhome club and camping and caravanning club where you know you wouldn't have access issues. But so the camper van's been cracking. Looking back, I would definitely get another either static caravan or holiday lodge. You've obviously got the advantage and the one that doesn't get mentioned often is you have flushing toilets so you don't need to empty the loo you know it, it, it's ready set to go you don't need to be hooking it up you know you've got your electric you've got your gas typically and central heating and things like that so that they are like a home from a home so and i do know that now since we have actually emptied it and i've got another house inside the house now that i'm having to try and sort and put things everywhere <laughs> Surprising how much you accumulate over time. Surprising even in the camper van actually when you empty it out how much you have in there. But the... Uh... It was a difficult decision to make, I'm going to be honest with you, because we have thoroughly enjoyed our time at Richmond. I'm hoping that we're not going to regret it and that we're going to carry on using the camper van as we are. And who's to say in the future that we may decide to get another one? But at this point in our lives, I think we're enjoying the camper van much more. And as David said, it's too much money to not be using and making the most out of it. You know, you've got to use these things. If you're ever considering in the future, if you find your motorhome caravan or camper van isn't quite, it's, you know, too much for you, whatever, they're well worth considering. You need, obviously make sure you get a good deal on it and make sure you check out the terms and conditions um, as part of it. Uh, typically you've got your cost, you've got your purchase of your van, the delivery of it unless it's already sited, then you've got your site fees, you probably have electric, gas and water costs to consider as well and then your ongoing maintenance. So just make sure you understand that and also the fact that when you come to sell it there's typically a commission as well that you need to pay to the site owner on the completion of the sale. Quite often you get asked the difference between a static and a lodge and generally that's the insulation and the build of it, the materials that it's built out of. Um, with a lodge it's built generally to residential spec so if the site allows you could actually live in it um, whereas a static sometimes isn't. depends on the site itself but in our case the difference for us was a lodge we got a 25 year lease on the pitch but with the static you got 15 so there was an extra 10 years in there it makes a lot of difference and to be honest there's some you could say you know was i was a static or was it a lodge you could say either 
um, but typically the bigger ones are uh, clusters lodges. Probably the last tip we'd leave you if you ever look for them, look around because you're choosing a location that's fixed and you need to be happy with that location especially if you want to stay there long term. So look around, spend some time in the area if you're not familiar with it, check the site out, make sure everything feels right because it's not like a camper van where if you're unhappy with the pitch you can just move on to somewhere else. Um, you, you, you then, if you want to move on, obviously it's not as straightforward as that. We were absolutely gobsmacked that when we put ours up for sale, it sold the same day. Um, we weren't expecting that, so <laughs> we had to spend some time quickly emptying it for the new people. So there we go. We're moving on. So on to our next chapter, which we'd actually started before we'd closed the previous one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. On the road. Bye.